What's up, what's up? So I have arrived to Hoi An. It's crazy because I've been staying in Da Nang for the last week. I wanted to check out Hoi An because it's only like 40 minutes away from Da Nang. And man, it is such a change of vibe and scenery. It's crazy. Hoi An is a lot more of a Pueblo authentic kind of feel. Look, if you just look at the buildings, there's a lot of like colorful buildings. There's a lot of stores that sell like clothes and stuff. It feels like a very small village, but pretty tourist sized. I'm gonna walk around and see what they have to offer here. But it does remind me a lot of Pai from Thailand, just a little bigger. And I guess I might do some shopping here too because that seems to be one of the big things to do. So we're gonna see what there is to do here in Hoi An. I love these dresses. When Asian women, like Viet women wear these dresses, it's so, so nice. So I'm walking around the market and this is very dangerous because I wasn't planning on shopping. But by being here, it just makes me want to shop. Plus, I feel like the vendors here are pretty aggressive. I don't know why, but it seems like Viet people, compared to Thai people, are not quite as friendly. They're a little more aggressive and a little more cold and to themselves. I ended up getting a bag. I mean, the lady was pretty desperate, I guess, and she came up to me. It was a bag that I wanted, but it wasn't something that I needed. But I ended up buying it anyways. It was only like six bucks, so it's not that big of a deal. I had a buddy who told me that Hoi An is famous for a bunch of white girls walking around everywhere, and I actually have to agree with that. There are a lot of foreigners here just like driving around. I wonder if there's anything else to do here other than, you know, just like walking around and shopping. But if you look at every single restaurant, it's filled with foreigners, foreigners, foreigners. So I guess that's pretty good for the local economy. All right, so apparently taking these boats for a day trip is one of the things to do here in Hoi An. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, this place is beautiful, but I'm just trying to figure out what is there to do here in Hoi An? Walking around, the buildings are really nice to look at because it feels like this is Vietnam, right? Other than being able to see the buildings and appreciate the culture. It feels kind of like a tourist trap so far. I'm not entirely sure. I need to see a little more of the city. Maybe it's different at night. I was talking to some girls and they were saying that the nightlife here is nicer, apparently. There's a lot of cool things around. There's like a lot of nice art. There's a lot of t-shirts and things to buy, but it seems that everything starts at night, like around 4 or 5 p.m. around the sunset. So I'm definitely gonna have to come back because today I have something to do in the afternoon. So I have to be honest, Hoi An is very, very disappointing. I am not the biggest fan of this city at all. How it looks from the outside, it looks like a very authentic experience. You know, the buildings, the people. I do feel like I'm in the middle of Vietnam, but it feels so tourist-sized that it doesn't feel like I'm living with locals. It feels like I'm being fed a touristy experience that is like very superficial, and I'm not the biggest fan of it. I'll be real, man, pretty unimpressive so far. So I was trying to figure out why I'm not a huge fan of this place. It's because walking around, all the vendors are extremely aggressive. They just keep trying to get you to buy stuff. And all the temples that are around, they charge for it. So you can't even really go and enjoy them and just walk around. Like if you were in like a regular city, because in Da Nang, they have the Lady Buddha and it's free. You just have to do like a small donation, but you can go up and just look at it. But then there's a bunch of temples all around this area in Hoi An and they charge for every single one. I think it's like $5 NG for each one. I understand like you have to give back to the community and everything. It doesn't sit right for me. I don't know, it just, it just feels like a tourist trap in that regard. Like I can't really enjoy it or appreciate it like a local would. Okay, so I went to one of the beaches. It's called Ang something. You can see Da Nang from here, which is really cool. Look, right there. That is Da Nang. It's nice to see. This beach is really nice and it's filled with a bunch of foreigners from everywhere. European foreigners, there are a lot of Asian foreigners, mostly Koreans. So it is beautiful, it is a very very nice beach. It's not as crowded as some of the ones in Da Nang. It feels more like a resort, but it is very nice. I, I think that coming here to Hoi An, this beach is very very nice. So I never got to go back to Hoi An at nighttime to really check it out, but to be honest, I didn't really have any desire to. It was quite unfortunate because I heard a lot of good things about the city, but when I went personally, I could not shake the feeling that I was being force fed like a tourist trap. When I was traveling through Vietnam, maybe a lot of you guys can also relate to this, I wanted to see a very authentic experience, eat authentic Vietnamese food, get to hang out with Vietnamese locals and kind of see their way of life, but I did not get that at all in Hoi An. I noticed walking 
walking around everywhere, there were more foreigners than locals. I found that all of the restaurants that were there were incredibly gringo priced for some of the most basic Vietnamese foods. It was such a bummer that you had to pay for everything as well. I felt that the vendors there were extremely aggressive and constantly trying to get me to buy something. And I felt that I was just constantly being funneled into like buy this tour, go to this thing, do all the touristy stuff. And it just wasn't exactly what I was looking for. I also went to a place near Da Nang called Abana Hills. I may make a video about it in the future, depends if you guys want it or not. And that was also incredibly disappointing because it felt like it was a Vietnamese version trying to copy what Europe was. But as someone who's already been to Europe, I'm just like, I didn't come to Vietnam just to see Europe, you know? So I just didn't really get it. There were some beautiful spots driving into the city as well. You know, I definitely really enjoyed the views and the river and seeing the cows and just kind of the rice fields and everything. But I got a very similar experience when I went to Pai in Thailand and I thought Pai was very authentic and way, way better. So if I had to rate Hoi An on a scale of one to 10, I'd probably give it like a seven out of 10. It is undeniably beautiful. As beautiful as it is, it just lacked the substance and the culture that I was looking for from a Vietnamese city. If you guys are looking for a very touristy experience, maybe Hoi An is for you. But in my opinion, I think there are so many better places to see in Vietnam. All the hype that you guys see online, I personally did not understand it at all. Maybe I might be wrong. Here's another video if you guys want to watch. Let me know what you guys think down below and I'll catch y'all later. Peace out.